Oh, and it ain't just about music. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? I was about cooking up a Thursday collection connection up with me. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is Collection Connection, uh, the game that is just an excuse to talk about records. Uh, last time, Eric had Queens of the Stone Age, uh, Love, Peace, Peace, Love, and Death Metal, um, which was, he was right, it was kind of a groovy record, not necessarily what I would have expected. Um, so I enjoyed it. The uh, cover of uh, Stuck in the Middle with You uh, was a surprise to me. I just queued it up on Apple Music and let it play. Uh, so I enjoyed it. And uh, my mind went a few directions in trying to, to cook up a connection. And what I came up with um, was uh, another side project, uh, Queen of the Stone Age. Uh, being the main project for Josh Hami, Ham Hami, I'm not sure how you say his name, and uh, Eagles of Death Metal, which now I'm not sure if I said that or if I said Queens of the Stone Age at the beginning, um, but it was Eagles of Death Metal was the, the album, uh, the band. And what was interesting to me about that was that uh, Josh Hami went from being uh, the front man, the, the lead singer, to a to the drummer, uh, which is an odd move for a side project. Uh, and I couldn't find another thing that was exactly that, but I did find uh, a flip-flop of that. Uh, a band where uh, the drummer of the main band did a side project and became uh, the lead singer. And his name is Jonah Falco. And he plays drums in the Toronto band Fucked Up, which I think is like Shit's Creek. I, you know, I can't help it that they call their band Fucked Up. Um, but uh, that they're a kind of a punk band, hardcore punk band, that I think has maybe evolved into something a little more poppy But uh, over time. But the side project is called um, Jade Hairpins. And the album is Harmony Avenue. And this is from just last year, 2020, and it caught my eye. Honestly, I don't know a thing about Fucked Up, the band, um, but something about the cover art here uh, caught my eye, um, and I guess it came about with um, Jonah Falco, the drummer, and Mike Halichuk, the bassist for Fucked Up, uh, kind of starting to mess with electronic music a little bit. And I guess their initial tracks were much more electronic. Uh, the, uh, the track Mother Man, which closes the album, uh, has a very Peter Hook sort of bass line booing it along, and it's much more electronic overall. But the, um, the tracks are very poppy and sort of 80s inspired in, in a lot of ways. Uh, but they have that side project feel of being kind of slapdash a little bit, uh, very unrefined, unpolished, uh, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, the first three songs in particular uh, grab me. Uh, there's, I don't fully understand. It seems like there's a, a mythos or something brewing. They, they've said that um, the songs themselves uh, were extensions of songs in the fucked up universe or something. Um, and that's how they started off and evolved sort of into their own thing. Um, so there's a character, I think, named Jay Terrapin and Jade Hairpins is like um, sort of a homophone for that. And it's just wordplay. Does it mean anything? I don't know. All along the um, side here of the album, there's lots of loose homophones for both of those things. Like, uh, let's see. That's, uh, they're hard to read, but aged pair hens. Uh, paged Herodons, 
raid peregrines, uh, hair pageants. Very odd. Does it mean something? I don't know. Pure wordplay? I don't know. Like the song Father Coin uh, is one of those songs that now I have a category of song that is like the best song uh, by X artist that is not actually by X artist. Like uh, Take Your Mama uh, by Scissor Sisters is the best Elton John song that's not by Elton John. And The Way by Fastball is the best Steve Miller Band song that's not by the Steve Miller Band. Uh, and Father Coin is the best soft boy song in my opinion now that is not by the soft boys but it sure as hell sounds like a soft boy song uh it's with a lot of fun kind of falling over itself rhythm there uh but don't break by my devotion the second track is one that's sure to catch your ear um but over the, the whole thing is quite a bit of fun uh and like the eagles of death metal something that i think will grab your attention and um uh, be light and enjoyable, you know? It's it's a little frothy. Uh, it's hard to understand the lyrics most of the time. So I haven't gotten that deep into it. I only got it this year. You know, it came out last year. Uh, but that's what I will throw back to you. Uh, it is Harmony Avenue by Jade Hairpins on Merge Records 2020. And uh, so you can look for Eric's response on Monday and uh, I will be on the road next week, so will I be able to produce an episode for next Thursday? I'm excited to find out. Hopefully you're excited to find out. Um, so with any luck, I will see you next Thursday. And with that, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.